All right, guys, part two is now here of our birth story where things got crazy. Things really got crazy and very unexpected. And well, so I guess it's not our birth story, it's her birth story. Is it? Yeah, it's not even mine, it's hers. This is her birth this story. This is crazy, so. but it, we're all fam, so yeah, it's it our, our story, story of her birth. Period. So, anyways, if you didn't see part one, make sure you watch part one because we explained a lot, okay? You don't so, want to miss it. The last thing that we talked about was they broke my water at about 2.45 a.m. on November 20th. And they were like, okay, we'll come check you every two or so hours to see if you've progressed. Right now, I was 6.5 centimeters dilated. I had been moving pretty slow the whole time we'd been there. So we just thought things were just gonna go really slow. Yeah, be days, yeah. literally. And so, also keep in mind, our families were there in the room with us. Like his parents, my parents, and my sister, they spent a lot of time in the hospital room with us. So at this point, they were just starting to kind of pack up. They were like, go sit in the waiting room, just kind of clear the room. Cause they had brought like an air mattress to sit on like as a couch. Cause we figured it probably like with them breaking the water, it was going to be within the next 16 hours at top. So we knew it was going to be sometime on the 20th. They also told us like, you know, maybe, maybe a good time. Cause we asked them, we were like, when should we clear the room out? They were like, maybe just when we break your water, it'd be a good time to just deflate the air mattress and just make sure everything's clear. So I'm laying there and I'm on my side. And at this point, like, this is really all I remember. I kind of don't remember a lot. I remember my dad being right in front of me and like my sister was right there. And they were like, okay, now that your water's been broken, you're gonna start feeling some pressure. Just let us know if you feel like an insane amount of pressure. Um, and so I'm like, okay. I was just prepared to like take a nap, put my eye mask on, go to sleep. I'm laying there on my left side. This is so crazy. To talk. Every time I talk about it, I'm like, oh my god. It gosh. was literally like a movie. It was just so wild. I mean, it was wild. And it's hard. I really want to explain the feeling I had, but like there's still no way to like completely let everyone know the feeling. But I'm laying there and I'm like, oh shoot, that is some pressure. Like it was like, like literally felt like a baby's head or just something round pushing and coming back up pushing and I'm gonna be honest with mm. you guys, you don't really feel it where you think you feel it. You feel it. <laughs> like you just ate Taco Bell. Yeah, you feel it there. And so it's very like uncomfortable because you're like, oh gosh, like what do you do? <laughs> And it's like crazy, like, and it feels like it's big, like it, like a big old head, and it's just going down and up and up. So I'm like, oh, guys, I felt good. Cause keep in mind, this whole time, like my contractions haven't been bad. I've kind of just been chilling. And so now I'm like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I'm like, if I'm gonna have to do this for hours and hours, but this it was, is gonna stink. it was like intense though. Oh, intense, yeah. Like intense, like and don't, I, she's not, she may be downplaying <laughs> it, but it was intense. Trust me, in the moment, she was like. And I was asking because I was like, it's hard for me to know. This is my first pregnancy. Like, is this what you're supposed to feel or? is it really strong and so this is all I remember I remember my dad being in front of me and he's like well press the button like press the epidural the button that ups your epidural and I was like dad they told me not to like until they think I'm close and I was like so no and then I was like ow like and so my dad was like press the button and I screamed at him and I was like I was like no they told me not to so after about three of those like pressure like I felt pressure stopped pressure stopped it was like three times I was like wow there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this for hours next thing I know after I had just like screamed I literally I can barely remember it. I don't know what I said I don't know if I like screamed at you to go get someone or what but I was like y'all like I grabbed and I was like squeezing because I was like her head is coming out like it did not feel anything like those three push pressure things I was like like her head is coming out right now it was crazy next thing you know we the doctor came in checked her and she was literally like okay we're ready are you ready she was like yep you're a 10 it, her head's all the way down and we looked at it i was like what in the world like just an hour ago we weren't Less even on the yeah we weren't even on or, the six hour timeline supposedly yeah because she wasn't having regular contractions and then as soon as the doctor said that i swear it was like a movie People like come a, running in like a 15 people in a matter of like 10 seconds. Boom, 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 boom. So his legs are already up. Like it was the craziest thing. Wait. I'm serious. It was Taylor. crazy. I wish I could see his POV like Taylor. I was just over there like. Because <laughs> I don't really remember. I don't, I wasn't paying yeah, attention yeah, to you. Yeah, because all the pain and everything. But anyway, so like family just like rushed out. Like they just had to, I'm glad they packed up when they did because yeah. we had stuff everywhere. So they ran out. And so this is what happened. So that's why I was like starting to cry because I was so, like keep in mind, I I was like, please give me the epidural. Please up it when you think we're getting close. And this is not their fault at all. 
totally not their fault. Everyone was so great, like so great. The experience was awesome. Loved the nurses, everyone. This is not their fault. This is just like, you never know what's How gonna happened. happen. And so I was just so scared because I was like, I'm moving my leg, like I can feel. And they say they want you to be able to feel. They said, if you're too numb, you're not gonna be able to push well. And so they were like, <laughs> I think they wanted me to be able to yeah, feel a little yeah. bit. But I was like, so I just started, everything was happening. And I remember just moving and I'm like trying to keep myself chill, but I'm like, is this really happening right now? And the next thing you know, I'm like, just can't keep it in anymore. I'm just like, I'm really I scared. mean, she started bawling really and just like, and then I look, my mom's over there and she's like, please give her the epidural. Y'all promise you'd give her the, the do epidural. The doctor said, they're like, no. there's no time. And um, they were scared of your blood pressure was the real, real reason. Yeah. The doctor was like, it, it'll be too dangerous for her and the baby yeah. because it could lower her blood, blood pressure to a dangerous point. So they were basically just like, too bad, we're doing this. I'm sweating thinking about it because, uh, and, and it's cr it's the craziest feeling because you're feeling, the, keep in mind, I'm still feeling this pressure now while all this is going on. Oh, and then my doctor, she she knew that it was probably gonna be in the middle of the night. Um, so she was prepared, like she was awake, I think, and everything. Um, she came from her house. She came from her house, she was only 10 minutes away. She made it halfway through the birth. Like I had been pushing for about half the time. She just walked in, she's like, I'm here. She's like, sorry, like I was brushing my teeth. Like I thought we had I a little bit more time. Yeah. I was like, we did too. But I'm so glad she got there. And I know you can't always count on your doctor being the person who delivers you. Well, she's actually like midwife and everything. But anyways, she got there halfway through. So that was, that was fun. So I'm sitting there and I don't know how much I kept in the birth vlog. I cut out a lot because I was a hot mess. But I was like, yo, I'm so scared. I don't know how to push. And they were like, let's just panic. do a practice push. That's the word, fear panic. panic. Because it's not like you can pause anything. It's not like you can be like, it's happening. Like there's no turning back, obviously. It's just a weird feeling. Like you have to push her out. That's the only thing that's gonna stop, stop this pain. It. And so since I had never pushed before, that was just scary to me. I was like, I literally don't know how to, know how to push. And I sat and it there. Was, it was not a practice push. They, no. they, they, were, they might've called it that, but they were like, okay, one, two, yeah. three. They said it was gonna be a practice push, but it wasn't. It was the real deal. Um, apparently I was a good pusher. Oh yeah. I yeah. didn't think I, I didn't feel like I was, but they were like, you're really good at pushing. And I was like, well, thanks. You were um, made for this. I was made for this. I'll do it. I'll do it a couple more times. They were like, all right, let's do a push. And so it was really scary to me to just do the, that first push. I was like, y'all, it feels like it's coming out my booty. And so I was like, do I just push like it's coming out of there? And they were like, yes, that's exactly what you do. So I was like, okay. Professional pusher. <laughs> so I was down. like, let me do this. And so I just go into it and I'm like, I hope this is right. And I'm pushing, count to 10, yada, yada, do all good. Do that a few times. And then everyone starts freaking out. We can see her head. They bring out a mirror. They like roll I out said, a whole mirror. I thought. <laughs> I thought they were just gonna give me a little handheld mirror, but they brought out like this huge thing on wheels. And I was yeah. like, shoot. There were I personally would not be doing that if I was pushing. You wouldn't wanna look? Mm -mm. Well, I kinda wanted to see it. And then they were like, all right, reach out and feel her head. Got to feel her head. And at that point, it felt like her head was out of me. And everyone was like, her head's here. And so everyone made me feel like I was almost done. <laughs> I felt, and I was like, guys, I can feel this much of her head. Like this She's is- She's still up in there. You guys tricked me. But anyways, so I ended up, I tore a little bit. I, I think I had a second degree tear is what I saw on the thing. Yeah, and I could feel and tell where I was tearing. Um, like I could, I could tell. Mm. And that's when things were like burning. So it was actually crazy how I was scared that pushing was gonna hurt. Pushing felt not, I wouldn't say it felt so good, but that's what like the relief. Like I was like, when I was pushing, I felt good. And then when I had to stop, I was like, please, can I push? Can I push? And they're like, no, you have to wait. And I was like, wait for it, I was secretly like bearing down a little bit. Cause I was like, you know, I can't sit here. But pushing like felt decent until it started burning. And I could feel, I didn't, I wouldn't say I knew in the moment, like I was tearing, but now that I know that's where I tore, that's definitely what I was feeling. So pushing, 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 not long of pushing. I think I started at 3.30 and she was here by 3.53. Yeah. Um, and so turns out her head, like a lot of babies, their heads come out and their heads just out and then you keep pushing and then their body comes out. She came out all at once. Like, you know, she eased out a little bit, but then the minute like she was coming out, she shot out. And so of course that was the best moment ever. It's crazy, the, the pain and it's just instant relief. You're just all of a sudden That's fine. Um, obviously that was the best moment of our lives, literally like ever. There's like nothing interesting or crazy about that. It was just the sweetest time ever. I was still hysterical. Like, I think I was just- Hysterically I was delusional. Yeah, like, I think that'd be a good word. I was just like, oh my gosh. 
Actually, I don't know what was going on with me. I didn't, I don't know. I just. It was the sweetest and best moment. And seriously. if this proved anything, it's that Soph makes the most beautiful babies. But on top of that, she is <laughs> so Ooh. strong and amazing. That's insane. Like that's scary just hearing it from you. Like I would not be able to do that. Yeah, you're, it was a lot. You're a strong I, woman. I looked at my sister after and I was like, I don't know if you should do that. Like I'm scared for you because I thought, I don't know. It's Are just, you ready to run it back? I am. And they say oh. you kind of forget and Honestly, like I didn't forget, but I did at the same time, but it's so worth it. Like it's like, who cares? It is just scary. Like just the thought of it and stuff. Um, but then everything was good after. So she came at 3.53 on the 20th by 4 a.m. Like, no, 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 no. About an hour later, hour later, they stitched me up. Also, I could feel a little bit of that. That wasn't mm. fun. Um, yeah, like they did a great job, but like I could just feel it a little bit here and there. And I was like, ow. And just the thought of like getting sewn right there, it's more mental too. And it's just like, but I was so focused on like her and everything. And so anyways, about an hour later, once all that was done, everyone was out the room, you know, you're kind of just left there. It's like, well, but, um, one of the nurses came in and she showed me how to breastfeed and she latched right away. She did like, did she do 15 minutes on each side right away? Yeah. No, she just did 15 minutes. And then an hour later she did 15 more minutes. But anyway, she was doing great. The only thing that happened in the hospital um, that we were concerned about was she was spitting up like fluids and stuff. And the reason for that was because since she shot out, there was no time. Usually when the baby's head comes out, while the head's just out, fluids are like getting pushed out of their mouth yeah to clear them out something along the lines of that um and she didn't have time for that since she just came right out yeah she Does that came make out sense? so fast um so in the hospital she was just spitting up a lot and that was worrying us but she's totally fine now healthy um, she passed all her baby yep she passed all her tests in the hospital and so we were able to go home tuesday at like 1 p.m when we got home and took her to her first pediatrician appointment they were like she looks a little jaundiced and we were like yeah she passed in the hospital but like do we need to get her tested again we explained this in our last video but we got her tested again. She was a little high for it, but she's looking a lot better. A lot better now. Um, and the doctor said there's nothing to worry about as yeah. far as that goes. So yeah. now we just have healthy mama and healthy, perfect baby. Yeah. So. And if you didn't see our Instagram post, oh, or the birth vlog, she was six pounds, six ounces at birth, 19 inches long. She did lose a little bit of weight, but we're working on getting it back up because she's a big girl. So I'll just answer like three questions that I got on Instagram because we kind of, all the questions we got kind of were covered just by us telling the birth story. Um, someone said, how's the healing process going? It's going. It's hard because it's like, not only are you having to take care of like a newborn, especially as first time parents learning all this stuff. It's really hard. Like in the beginning, I couldn't like really walk. It's a lot better now, but it's going normal. Like nothing abnormal. It's just kind of, what's the next step with your heart condition now that she's here? So I'm just going to give it like the six weeks to heal and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and get me scheduled to go down to Jacksonville and get my heart ablation so we can knock that out and not have to worry about it for future pregnancies. Which or... means they'll just burn the extra pathway in Soph's heart so that then it's gone. So no more. Tell them about it. No more little spells or what yeah. is it called? Um, episodes. Episodes. No more little episodes. And then I can go ahead and get pregnant again. <laughs> and we want six weeks. <laughs> no, not six weeks. Did you get any sleep in the hospital? No. <laughs> Did you get any sleep in the hospital? I got a solid, I probably got four hours over the 72 and so I've got one hour tops over the 72. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't, it was it. worth it. And that's like a time of your life where- You don't want to miss anything. Yeah, if you ever have an excuse to not get sleep, yeah. that's the time. For like, sure. That's the time that it should be played. And I'll just say, it's because she was spitting up so much, we didn't want to lay her down to go to sleep because we didn't want her to spit up. And so yeah. we took shifts. That, like, that continued even when we got home because mm -hmm. we were like, we we're not laying her down. Of us is watching her sleep yeah. we can't we couldn't fathom the fact of putting her down to sleep and then us going to sleep and not watching right. her. who would set their baby down really who does that <laughs> just sleep on my chest but it was because her spit up yeah and it wasn't just the normal like people some people probably think we're crazy but it was like all that fluid like and stuff trying to get out yeah was it what you expected or was it easier or worse um i don't know that I really had a huge expectation for what it was going to be like. So, and I don't think it was easier and I don't think it was worse. It was kind of just what it was. Maybe next pregnancy, I'll be able to kind of compare Make a judgment. or next birth, but yeah, I don't know. Didn't know what to expect. 
Okay, last question. How did we come up with her name? So Soph gave me like a list of three names and then as soon yeah. as she said Mary Marin, I just started calling her Mary Marin, like in Soph's tummy. So like And then our parents were like, Have you decided a name? And Taylor kind of was like, Yeah, and I was like, Oh, did we? Like, is that it? And then it's because we wanted to tell our family the name and it's so it's the most beautiful, perfect name. And we we knew that, you knew that. So that's how we came up with her sweet little name. And my middle name's Marin. That's where we got Marin from. And Mary's just so classy and pretty. So her name's Mary Marin, not just Mary. Unless she yeah, gets you gotta start she writing a Mary. dash between he them. He thinks I need to put a dash so people understand. That, that's how they'll understand. I guess. But Mary Marin, our perfect angel, best birth story ever. We're so grateful. We really are all the nurses. Everyone wasn't everyone so nice. Mm -hmm. Like it was everyone. awesome. Loved my midwife. Everyone. It was just the best experience. There was just some crazy little things that happened that it's just like wow. That was crazy. But. We're so thankful for each and every one of you that has watched our journey and continue to watch our journey. 70% of you are not subscribed, so subscribe and we'll love you forever. We'll love you either way. Um, but most importantly, Jesus loves you. He wants a relationship with you. We love you and we'll catch you in the next vid. Taylor and Soph, out.